Welcome to the Velvet Room. Now then, let's be Well then, shall we take a look? It is a special persona you desire, is it not? This persona is powerful. This power might be too much for you. This persona is powerful. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a good amount of extra power. <laughs> a new power emerges. This will almost certainly be worth your time. What kind of persona do you desire? Very well. We look. Yes? Who is it? Um, it's me. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't 
stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Aw, are you feeling lonely? Hey, are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good.
Alright, class is starting. Chum's as happy as ever. No matter how cold it is, we'll be right here. So go play all you want, okay? Recently, I found a recipe for a cake that you can bake with nothing but a microwave. You know, since it's almost Christmas, I wanted to try making something to get in the spirit of things. And depending on the ingredients I use, I might even be able to give some to Koro-chan. something in his mouth. Hmm. I wonder where he keeps finding all this. I guess we should take a bath together again. <laughs> Let's head back. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Well then.
Sell in bulk? Sure, it's a deal. Well, look out some new things in stock. Check it out. If you've got everything look good here, great. It's all yours. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Good here? Good. It's all yours. You gotta turn off the I never felt like I never felt like Whatever happens, remember to stay calm. Huh? Made up your mind? Alright then. You gotta tell no Everything looks alright then. What are you looking for? That what you want? Great. It's all yours. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. Everything looks 
Great. It's all yours. Everything look good here? All right, then. You gotta tell no that what you want? Great. It's all yours. I never feel like da -da 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 -da. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. What'll it take as long as you need? You gotta tell no Uh-huh. Take as long as you need. I'll do whatever is in my power to help you. That's my duty, after all. All done here? Come back soon. Eat a lot and sleep a lot. You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Thank you for coming. I never felt like Which one? We have some new items prepared. Come take a look. You gotta tell no. Even after turning my hobby into a career, I still find myself buried in research. Guess I can't sew. What will it be? Are you sure? Did you change your mind? Are you sure? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. You gotta tell no. Are you sure? Here, it's all yours. What would you like? Everything good? Come again.
Thank you very much. Sorry for making you come all the way up here. Well... Would you have a practice match with me? Right here, right now. It's just, now we're going up against that thing that lived inside of you, right? I thought if we sparred, I could get an idea of how well I would do against it. I, I trained in secret for a long time, so I could avenge my mom's death. That was the only time I could forget the pain. When I was alone, swinging my spear. But I've changed since then. I want to use this power to help me live my own life. I'd promised that I'd see this through to the end. I have to make good on that. Anyway, I want you to see me the way I am now, senpai. Of course, I don't want us to actually get hurt, so I'll be using this. And this one's for you. Thank you for this. Now then... Please, take this seriously. Otherwise, there's no point. Yeah. <sighs> I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. You were just as strong as I thought, Senpai. I had no chance. At least, now I know where I stand compared to you. I'm alright, but I am glad I decided to use toy weapons. I don't know what decision you'll make in the end, but as long as there's time, I won't stop training. So would you mind if I challenged you again sometime? Thank you. I'll get closer to beating you. Just wait. I really like it here. I've made so many memories since coming to this dorm. Both fun and difficult ones. But I feel like living means carrying it all with you and moving forward. I used to think I didn't have a place to call home, but I realized that's not something you get from someone else. Home, my real home, is the place that helps me move forward. That's why I believe fighting to come back here is what Aragaki-san would have wanted. I've learned that everyone at the dorm has their own reasons for staying, and that means I need to do my best too. I never would have figured that out if I didn't have you all behind me. Let's do I like being on the rooftop at night, but maybe it's too cold to be out here in December. 
Can we talk some more inside? I'd like to go over today's battle before I forget. Oh, and while we're at it, you should say hi to Hamburger, too. Maybe it's because it's winter. What has first gotten so fluffy and cute? I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Sonata-san. You sure this is where you want to be? Well, I was planning on visiting her, but when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. I've still got unfinished business to take care of first. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't have anything to tell Shinji right now. I've got my own stuff to deal with. An unbeatable enemy, huh? I wonder what it's like. Beats me. That doesn't matter, though. I've already made up my mind. I don't care what I'm up against. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. All right. Someone else to welcome into our vlog! No! Speak of the devil! <sighs> oh, wow! Are you interested in joining too? Finally, paradise is smiling back at me! Yes! Yes! What are you saying? That I should just abandon these people to their fate? I'm trying to save these people. They've suffered in this world just like me. Someone as good looking as you could never understand. You have no idea what people like me have to go through. Fine. If you're gonna try and stop me, then... Then you and I are through! are allowed into paradise. So the world's coming to an end, huh? I think I remember some other cult saying stuff like that. Except they really weren't about initiation fees. It was more about giving up material wealth, wasn't it? Stealing ideas from real, actual religions. That's a textbook cult tactic, you know? You mean... This was all a trick? Oh, yeah. You've been duped, kid. But not by us. You should blame that cult you believe in so much. Now that I know the truth, I almost feel sorry for you. But you had to take things too far. 
Try not to hit his face. If you leave any marks, you might be able to press charges. <laughs> am I... am I gonna die? <laughs> but, but if I die here, I'll be reborn. And I can go to paradise. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What? What are you doing here? After I said such awful things to you, I thought we were through. I'm freaking out. I don't want them to hurt me. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Gross, dude! You're getting snot everywhere! Screw this! I gotta get to work! <sighs> I've had just about enough of this. Look, just forget about the money. But I don't ever want to see you near my son again. You're so wonderful. You have such a kind soul. Oh, welcome back. Well, I... so happy when we're on break. Maybe it's because everyone's all together. <laughs> Go run to your heart's content. It's almost Christmas, isn't it? I usually do a holiday party every year with my club members. But to be honest, I don't know if I'd be in the mood for something like that this year. Guess I shouldn't be such a downer though, huh? Again. Your nose is all dirty. Come here. Let's get you cleaned up before we go home.
mind listening to what this old monk has to say? Those folks downstairs, they're probably around your age, huh? It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but you look closely, their eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress from the day. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, but it'll always come back. This place is more of a refuge than a club to me. Those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. Hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. Is that supposed to be really in a good way or really in a don't do it way? No, just talk to talk, kid. Say what you mean and get straight to the point. Ah, forget it. I don't feel like doing it anymore. It's too late to apologize, kid. I've got a kid around their age, you know. My one and only son. He'll be 21 this year. He's a little older than you. He's alive, that is. future of this country in the hands of these kids? I mean, what if they all end up like me? Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness, emptiness is form. Oh, sorry. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. About last time, uh... Let's go to Hagakure! My younger brother and I were twins. But not the kind that looked the same. He was the better looking one. Everyone called me... The uglier Suimitsu. They always compared me to him. And I can never beat him in anything. There was a time when I used to hit him for no reason. But even then, he still treated me like a brother. Then in middle school, we bought steamed buns. And then he died. Food poisoning. They said the meat was undercooked. Just his bun, though. Not mine. But I couldn't even cry. I actually felt... relieved. I thought... maybe they'll all finally stop laughing at me. Thanks, but... I know already. I was a terrible brother. At first, I tried to be more like him. I went to cram schools and did martial arts and everything. But I could never be as good, and eventually... I started to feel like people were laughing at me. 
The only time I feel safe is when I'm eating. All that matters is what's in front of me. And everything else melts away. See? That's what the Gourmet King really is. I only eat to run away from my problems. But if I keep this up, I'll never be able to replace my brother. Will I? my brother we're two different people how did i miss something so obvious <laughs> i can be pretty dumb sometimes thank you really thank you so much But I'm relieving you of your duties as the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. You're fired because you're the new king. All hail Gourmet King the Second! The restaurants in the strip mall gave this to me because of how often I eat there. I feel like I've been fake all this time. But one day, I will become the true Gourmet King! I think I'll become a food critic. It'll be my job to eat. I'm gonna become a food master! Then when I die and go to the afterlife, I can face my brother. And then I can tell him I was the best at something for once in my life. So until I reclaim my crown, you can hang on to it. I may have lost my title, but someday I'll make my grand return as Gourmet King the Third. That's my promise to you. And to my little brother. Huh. I've been talking so much about my brother, but... I'm okay. My memories didn't make me sad and hungry this time. Hmm. Oh, wow. I never realized how good the ramen tastes here.
What even? Take a look at some earrings. I've been wanting new ones, but I can never seem to make up my mind. They're all so cute, you know? There are too many options to choose from. I know! Why don't you come help me pick something out? Yeah! Come on then, let's go! Uh, hang on, I've got a call. Hello? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? You're not doing it? You want my approval first? Wait, it's fine. You can do what you want to do. <sighs> what I mean is, if that's what you really want, then go ahead. It's your choice, so you really don't have to worry about me. Well, then, you want to meet up and talk about it? <sighs> hey! Stop it, don't cry. I'll try to call you more too, okay? All right. Bye. <sighs> that was my mom. She apologized for everything that's happened. She said she won't get remarried until I'm okay with it. That's weird. I can't stop shaking for some reason. Can we sit for a while? Sorry about all that. I'm fine now. I was just surprised. I never expected this to happen. I told her we could meet up and talk about her remarriage. I'm nervous just thinking about it. seen each other in almost 10 years, so it's not going to be easy. I'm afraid I'll get angry and say something cruel. Still, I think it's time I try talking to her. I've been saying how wrong it is to run away, so I need to live up to my own advice. You know, I think she still misses my dad deep down, but she couldn't handle it, losing someone so important to her why she needed someone to lean on. I think losing someone you love and having to go on alone is really, really hard. I'm not sure how to explain, but I realized this after being with you. I think being in love means giving a part of yourself away, and that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> I mean, just in general, you know? Till next time. Let's just go home for today. Oh, it's you. 
Welcome back. I suppose. Junbei-kun? Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What brings you here? Ah, uh, nothing really. I've been coming here a bunch lately. Is that sketchbook... um... Hmm? Ah, oh, yeah. This is where Chidori and I first met. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back a lot recently. Oh, yeah? You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a totally different person from when you first showed up. I am? Honestly, you were kind of a wimp before. But now, you're something else. I can't even describe it. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. Yukatan said the exact same thing, but uh, I just don't see it myself. I mean, just the other day I was freaking out and throwing all that blame around. I'm a real piece of work, aren't I? That's not true. Man, I was so damn scared. I just couldn't keep my shit together. I know. I hate to admit it, but even now, I can't help being scared. You're only scared because you're choosing not to run away. We all feel that way. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Luca. That's why I want to protect everyone. After all, the dark hour is horrifying to think about, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here now. The future hasn't been written in stone yet, and I want to be true to myself. True to yourself. Hmm. You're really something, Fuka. Let's fight together. Okay.
felt the same way I did. I was waiting for you earlier. My wife and son. We were all together back when I was still a businessman. It's already been four years now since they left me. I used to stay out past midnight all the time. My wife and I would always fight about it. Now when I go home, I don't know what to do with myself. So I just come here and drink every night.
eyes to the sound that goes around and around and around and around. Oh. She said, Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every day we inspire, but never expires. But we can chill today. Let me ride the world tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let's do the best we can. Gonna be graduating next year, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty Let's make the first move. You won't ever hit them. You have a skill that can hit a weakness.
scan on this enemy? Okay, here's what I found. We've already scanned this one.
Who's next? Take it back for your toughness. Just try punching it. I'll go with it. Watch me! Not about desert. It's over. No shadows detected. Time to move on. It's an enemy. Can we attack? Time to move on. We found the stairs. Oh, there's a treasure chest. During winter, the sound the arrow makes when it hits the target is so satisfying. Hmm. Maybe it's because of the temperature. Yes. Free 
Time to move on. Is that treasure? sense a presence. Very well.
chance just yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Caught them off guard. Looks like you can't get any wings it. I don't think you have any chance for this. Looks like you can target a weakness. Loki! Team up with everyone! I guess people around the world aren't... That teleporter can take us back to the entrance, but I can keep going. <laughs> it's our chance to go first! Two enemies! Too strong. <laughs> Yeah, right. 
One of those doors.